for the serious gamer. So up next, Gen Tactics, I just realized that I had never gave you guys some good old interdiction uh, mag DLC videos yet. So here we are with some interdiction. This is actually interdiction, a game that I was able to play last night. And it was freaking awesome. Uh, basically, Interdiction is a mag DLC. It cost ten bucks, nine ninety nine on the PlayStation Store. It included this game mode, three maps, <clears throat> and uh, an improved heavy armor. And it's really disappointing, I have to say, actually, guys. That, but no one plays Interdiction. Like it was rocking and rolling for like the first week, and then no one, and now no one's playing it. And it's really, really disappointing. And it's at the same time, I kind of wanted to address uh, address that that issue in this video. Um, hopefully, maybe you guys in the next gen tactics community can help help uh, the mag players out here and help out the uh, mag fans. But it's kind of a self fulfilling prophecy with interdiction. I mean, the the second that someone sees no people in the game count in the queue or in the game, uh, they don't join, and it's a downward spiral from there. Basically, guys, it's a self fulfilling prophecy. I mean. <laughs> Now, because of the attitude that everyone has is that, oh, well, no one plays Interdiction anymore, and inter Interdiction is dead, well, it's going to stay that way until people play it. So, guys, I want to I wanna do a quick little call to arms here. Everyone, just play Interdiction. You know, <clears throat> every day, you know, give, give the queue ten minutes. Ten minutes, that's all I want you guys to do. If no one, if the queue doesn't fill up in ten minutes, then you can quit. But I'm telling you, man... It's, it's a, like I said, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a downward spiral. Every time you sign on to MAG and you check interdiction and you see that there's only 30 people waiting or there's only 10 people waiting, then of course you're not going to join. But how many people sign on every day and see that and don't join? Hmm? I bet you, I bet you it's enough to fill a few games. If, I mean, especially with all the people that are crying about how no one's playing interdiction, if all those people just shut up, and got in a game, I bet you we'd be playing some interdiction. But anyway, there's my rant. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's, it's kinda, hopefully we, we can revitalize interdiction. I mean, basically, the mag forums and, uh, myself on my channel, have, we do make an effort to organize uh, interdictions, a schedule. There's a whole schedule made up over at the mag forums. I believe, uh, the next official, um, Play time is going to be tomorrow night at nine o'clock. Um, don't get me wrong, don't, or uh, don't quote me on that. But like I said, Mag Forums has a schedule, a whole schedule uh, d dedicated to trying to get games of interdiction going. And guess what? I put a video up yesterday on my channel that said, "Hey guys, I want everyone to queue up for interdiction at this this time." It was like eight o'clock at night, Easter time, of course. And uh, it was I lined it up with the Mag Forums, and we actually I played like seven games of interdiction last night. So, I mean, that's all it takes is getting some people together and doing it. But, like I said. But anyway, guys, you probably want to know what the heck is Interdiction. What am I talking about? <clears throat> well, Interdiction is the DLC, like I said. And if anyone's ever played uh, Call of Duty, the Domination game mode, or Battlefield, uh, the Battlefield games actually, I believe, started this whole um, mission type. Uh, they started with Conquest. You know, you capture the f each flag and you have to hold it in order to drain the enemy's resources. Same idea in mag. There's uh, three points, and uh, the longer you hold each point, the more you're hurting the enemy team. <clears throat> What's cool about uh, mag's version, uh, mag's take on this type of game, is the map is absolutely massive. Uh, you don't really see it in this video. Um, I've got a video actually that I would like. I'm gonna probably make a couple more interdiction videos based on just the footage I gathered um, from actually last night and last week. Um, another night that the Mag Forums uh, organized uh, interdiction, a uh, couple few games. But the maps are huge, guys. They're freaking massive. Like, just I mean, look at the gameplay video here. This uh, objective building has got like four stories. I mean, that's freaking awesome. There's a, a the, the each there's three maps basically. I'll explain a little more. There's three maps, and they're each one is like kind of themed after the faction. This map is themed after Raven. Um, there's a map that's themed after Valor. You know the, the decor and the the set pieces are all similar to Valor stylized, and same with Sever. Um, the cool thing about Interdiction though is that all the maps are neutral, so anybody like anybody can be attacking anybody, or you know both both basically both teams are on attack. And there, it's neutral, neutral maps. 
And so this is the Raven the Raven map. I've played Sever on this map. Valor against Sever on this map. Same thing with the Sever map. I've played Valor against Raven. So it's totally neutral. There's no worrying about map advantages. There's no worrying about spawn advantages because you alternate. I mean, I've I've spawned on each different location on each map. It's it's totally neutral. And one thing, I really I can't I don't understand why people aren't playing this mode. It's so much fun. There's it's the mo it's the most balanced. I mean, seriously, it's the most balanced mode in the game. It's totally neutral. <clears throat> There's no way to not to have an or to have an advantage over the other team based on maps or anything like that. It's just I don't I don't know, man. It's awesome. And uh, one thing I should mention is that every single squad gets an APC, a vehicle. To, this is their forward spawn. That's their spawn point that they can spawn in the vehicles, or there's a you know a spawn for when your vehicle is destroyed. Um, but you know, now that I think about it, part of the reason I think why people aren't playing this game as much, this game mode, is because of the team element. In this mode, so much more than the other modes, you really need the team element. You guys need to be communicating with your squad mates, trying to keep the APC repaired, trying to keep the APC in a spot, or even keep it mobile, so that way the enemy can't destroy it, because that's your spawn point. Once that's gone, <clears throat> you've got to spawn like 200, 300 meters away from the action. So, <clears throat> you really need to keep your a <laughs> team killed right there. You really need to keep your APC, um, all you know, heal uh, repaired. Um, healed. It's a it's a machine. How can you keep it healed? You want to keep it repaired. You want to keep it out of harm's way. And uh, another thing is that basically, in order to win this mode, same as in uh, Call of Duty, as domination mode, you want to hold two of the points. Typically, there's a point in the center, which is C, that you can see in my screen right now, and there's a. Uh, a and B. Usually each A and B is closer to one of the team's spawn points. So generally, as is the, the um, as is the uh, custom in Domination in Call of Duty, you'd capture whatever um, whatever point is nearest to your spawn and then you would cruise on in and get the middle point and then you know you hold two points and you'd, you'd get the win because you'd be gaining more in this case, you'd be draining their resources more than than they'd be draining yours. Um, each each map has two mortar batteries on it. The squad leader and platoon leaders of each factions can be uh, dropping all kinds of artillery strikes. <clears throat> and I should also mention that there this is 64 players versus 64 players. There's two platoons versus two platoons, similar to acquisition. And uh, man, it's just so much fun. You can see here, it's just it's chaos. I mean, the maps are huge, so if you're a sniper, um, you can have so much more fun sniping in this mode than in the other modes. I, I respect to a sniper for a while. I had tons of fun sniping in this game mode because the maps are just, I can't, like, I really can't tell you how big the maps are. Like, I'll have to, I'll make a video for you guys. Plus, if you really want to see, go check out my channel. I've got a video featuring each map on my, my channel. But I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make another video for you guys very soon that uh, features the um, Valor stylized map. Because that map is the, I think it's the biggest. It is just so big. There's a mountain, like a mountain peak is where Objective C is up at the top. And uh, I guess it's just huge. I mean, the building that Objective C is in is like three or four, four or five stories high. Uh, it. I mean, the maps are just absolutely huge. Like, I mean, I'm telling you, it'd be worth $10 if I could just run around in the maps by myself, like in an offline mode. Unfortunately, there is no offline mode, but man, it would be worth $10 for me just to run around these ginormous maps in an offline mode if there was such a thing. But I mean, guys, if you're on the fence about getting interdiction, I think that you should watch my videos and see if you like it first and foremost. But get on the mag forums and, uh, you know, try to find out, you know, those times where the mag forums are organizing games. And, uh, you know, I guarantee that on those time, on those nights you'll be able to find a game. I Like I said, I played seven games last night during the mag forums organized uh, schedule. Uh, I had a video of my channel saying, listen, subscribers, everybody, just go play Interdiction right now. Uh, you know, it, tonight, play Interdiction. Uh, and it worked out. I was able to get games in. So, I mean, I can't. At this point, I can't really say whether or not you should buy it, just based on the fact that it's fairly dead of a game mode. But man, that's why it's dead is because people aren't playing it. So if you want to help the cause and you want to get in there and start playing it, then man, get it and get in the queue and start waiting. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, thanks a lot.
subscribe to my channel, and that's it. Later.